with the over 30 foot long light pole still sticking out over the hood. And that a silent stranger helped him remove the pole from the car. A car was coming, well I guess he called it more or less a van, and uh, I asked the guy would he help me get the pole out. So he stopped, he never said a word. I said, man, it's mighty quiet. It's not making, it's so quiet. And uh, he, he never said a word. He helped me get the pole out. The pole happened to be bent. When, it, when, when we, we pulled the pole out and the pole was bent, the, and, and the bent part took me down to the ground. I fell d down on my back, but I held the pole up and uh, laid the pole down. And uh, he got in his van and, and went on down the road. This would mean that a 90-ton Boeing traveling 530 miles per hour factored with the kinetic energy of the cab traveling about 40 miles per hour in the opposite direction would surely cause at least some damage to the hood of his car. And to clarify, it was the large piece of the basin. It's a large, yeah, the large piece that was sticking out across the hood. Wow. The pole came right on through to the back seat. If anybody had been sitting in the back, sitting in the front on the right side, yeah. the pole would have went through them. Sure. And it, and it actually was laying on your head then? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But there are no scratches on the hood. The sheer weight and length of the pole, in context with the physics of the scenario described by Lloyd, when compared with the total lack of damage to the hood of the cab, reveals a situation that is beyond implausible.